Hi, welcome to Donsky Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can drive your I2C LCD display using your Raspberry Pi. In this project, we're going to use a library that can drive our LCD using I2C using only four wires that connects to the GPIO of our Raspberry Pi. If you're excited, then let's start exploring. Hold the I2C in our Raspberry Pi. So to do that, let's connect our Raspberry Pi through SSH by using PuTTY. Let's open a connection. And then let's log in with our user ID and our password. And then once that we're in, we just have to execute sudo raspi-config. And then select the interface options. And to the I2C, let's enable the Raspberry Pi. I2C set option. Click yes. And then if it says that it's enabled, just click OK. And then we exit. And then just to make everything work correctly, let's just reboot our Raspberry Pi. And then let's wait for some time and then we'll try to reconnect to it later. So now we're going to start detecting the I2C address of our I2C LCD. So to do that, just power up your Raspberry Pi and follow on the wiring diagram. And then back at our terminal, we just have to execute the following command, which is sudo i2c detect dash y one. And then, as you can see from the command in here, that the device address of our LCD is 27. Since i2c supports multiple connection of different uh, I2C device, so we'll be able to see here if we have multiple devices that are connected with our Raspberry Pi. Now we're going to install a library that will help us drive our LCD. So I found this library in GitHub that is really good in driving the LCD. So we'll just follow along with the installation process of this uh, GitHub library. To do that, let's go into the installation section. So in the installation section, it says we have to install the Git, but right now, since Git is already installed by default in our Raspberry Pi OS, so there's no need to execute this one. We cd into the directory and then we do the clone. And then let's see what will happen with the LCD. So to do that, let's go into our root directory. So execute cd. So we're right now we're in home pi and then we execute the git clone. So this command will clone up the project into our local directory, which is in the slash home pi. And then let's just wait for the full project to be downloaded into our local directory. Okay, now so that it is up. Uh, downloaded correctly then let's do an ls-l we now have this folder called the lcd let's see cd into that lcd folder and then let's just clear the command according to this one we'll execute sudo install sh so let's execute the sudo install sh but we encountered some issues it says that there is a permission denied issues in the setup.sh file Let's see if what, what happens. So this is the setup.sh and we see that there is no execute permission in here. So let's add the execute using the ch mode command. Okay, now let's check. So it's now have the execute. And let's just clear our screen. And then let's continue with the installation with the sudo install.sh. Then let's see. 
Okay, so it's now going to install the required direct required packages for this library. So let's just be patient and then wait for this one to finish. Okay, so as you can see, it says that everything is now finished. So we can now reboot our Raspberry Pi. So let's just wait for our Raspberry Pi to go up again or let it finish in rebooting. Then we'll try to reconnect again. So the Raspberry Pi is now up. So let's connect again with our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so right now, uh, Raspberry Pi is now up. And then we'll continue with the code right here. And it says that after rebooting, we can try the demos. So let's see. We go into the CD, into the LCD. And then start executing the command from there. So let's ls-l here. So there is a demo clock in here. And then let's try to check what will happen if we execute the demo clock. So to do that, let's execute. clock.py see what will happen in our Raspberry Pi okay As you can see right now it's now counting the the time so we're now able to draw something into our LCD so let's In this section, let's try modifying one of these demo script and then display some of our custom text. So let's try with this demo scrolling text.py. So uh, I have edited it and then just put some of my code in there. And then after which I have created a simple file called testhello.py there. And then let's what will happen if we run the code then let's see so as you can see we now have the LCD and it's now displaying a scrolling text below and that's how we can use this particular library in driving our I2C LCD display that's it